The average person will spend three whole years of their life on the loo. This is the story of how a factory makes the most essential piece of furniture in your house. A mould for the toilets is made inside this casing. They pour in a liquid compound that contains gypsum. It's a natural mineral that soaks up moisture. This will draw water out of the clay bowls so they'll dry quicker later on. The mould is made in four parts, which set in just 20 minutes. The gypsum can only draw out a certain amount of water before it's saturated, so these moulds can only be used to make about 100 toilets each. The ceramic for the toilet is mostly made out of clay, but a mixture of other natural minerals has been added to provide strength. It's all mixed together with water in a cauldron. These vibrating machines get rid of any lumps. And then, after a quick check to make sure the liquid is at the right consistency, it's ready to be poured into the gypsum moulds. One hour later, a quick blast from a pressure hose opens them up. The excess is cut away and will go off to be recycled. The toilet chute is added by hand and then blended in using a wet sponge. The result is a fine sculpture with sweeping curves that would grace any bathroom. While it's still soft, they cut out the drainage hole. After that, it's given a quick wipe and then left to dry on a rack overnight. The next morning, it's dry, but it's still very absorbent. So they coat it with a glaze of powdered glass, chalk and water. This will form a waterproof layer when it's fired. The glazing on the outside of the toilet is sprayed on. When the factory is busy, the extra workload is done by hand but most of the time it's all done by robots. Either way, the end result is the same. The toilet is still brittle, so in the final stage it's baked in a kiln. And this is one seriously big kiln. It's 120 meters long with three separate zones. In the first zone, it's gently warmed up. Too much heat too soon would distort the clay. Then in the second, it can be blasted with 1200 degrees Celsius, which turns it rock solid. As they pass through the final zone of the kiln, the toilets are cooled down and then they're finished. The bowls are ready to be fitted with seats and plumbed into bathrooms across the country. 
On average, we pay about 2,500 visits to one every year. Despite the fact the humble loo is used so often, it's seldom appreciated.